Hi guys, this is Lily Boo Art, and I'm back with another video. So today, we are going to be trying out a couple new things. We are going to be trying out fountain pens, how to work with watercolor pencils better, because I know that I have some watercolor pencils that I haven't really used yet, um, or like using them on camera. And we are also going to be doing a stickers and scraps full on tour, because I have six stickers and scraps, and yeah. So yep, let's get right into it. All right, so first up, we're gonna be trying off, um, we're gonna be trying the fountain pen. So I've got this little thing to hold all the inks in, which I'm not gonna use. All right, so first we are going to be trying out the fountain pen and I've already gotten most of the stuff out. I am going to roll up my sleeves in a minute, but I've got my palette for the inks, which I don't think I'm going to use. I think I'll just use it like the ink straight from the little bottles. I've got the fountain pen, which I need to get out. Oh my goodness. So here is my fountain pen. And I noticed that the tip kind of like splits on the end. And I think that's to get like a different shape or like size. So there's the fountain pen. We'll just put that right there for now. And then I've got a ton of different inks. We've got black calligraphy ink. We've got white calligraphy ink purple and we've got red and by the way my mom just found all these in one of her drawers we've got a teal green we've got a very pretty gold we've got a dark blue this looks like oh my gosh this looks like this just reminds me of dream um so this is an emerald green we have a burnt umber. <laughs> I don't like that color. And then we have our silver. And then we've also got some different tips for our fountain pens, which I don't think I'll be using. So we've got a ton of different tips. And, oh, ooh, this one looks very imperial. Ooh, ooh, yes, I'm going to try that one. <laughs> um, but I think we will try them all in this video because they lo each look like they do some different things. And so, yeah, let's try this all out. All right, so now we've got all of our colors lined up on the sides, and I think I'm ready to try this all out. So apparently, I'm just going to try this without a single tutorial. Um, I'm just going to guess that um, I have used one fountain pen before. You kind of just dip in the ink and use it, I think. Um, so if you use a fountain pen, please don't be mad if I do something wrong. I've never used one of these before. Wait, I just said I've used one of these before. Anyways, moving on. I used my... Oh, ooh, that's a very nice purple. I used my cousin's fountain pen once, but besides that, I never have used a fountain pen. Um, I feel like there's going to be like tons of people commenting on this video, just like, yeah, you're using our fountain pen wrong. Okay, so I picked out a purple color. Let me try to focus the camera on that purple. So I chose a purple color, and let's see how this looks. So, oh, oh, that's cool. So kind of the more pressure you put on it. Oh, well, I ran out of ink there. So I guess kind of the more pressure you put on it, the wider the tip gets. And then I keep losing ink. Oh, my goodness. So this one seems to have a couple problems, though. This one seems to lose ink very fast. Oh, I don't think I was just putting enough ink. Oops, never mind. And I can look at what brand this is just in case one of you wants to buy this after this video. Um, but yeah, so this is a very nice purple. It looks black from the camera angle, but I'll zoom in and show you guys. So, oh goodness, oh goodness, oh goodness. So if you can look at the very tip right there, that is a purple. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> So let's try some of the different colors. So I have my paint water right here and I will dip it in. Oh my gosh, one of my doggos just opened the door. All right, so I'm going to get my paint towel. So let's get out the paint towel. And I think that you just kind of like dip it in some water and dry it off after every color. Okay, sorry that part stopped a bit abruptly. Um, so um, I just tried out some of the purple, and now I'm going to try out this very fine black. I already tried out some right here, but it looks exactly the same as purple. 
and I don't know why. It doesn't in real life, but it does on camera. Let's try out some of the black. Oh, wow. Okay, that's very, that's very luxurious looking. Oh my goodness. That's very, 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 very clear. Oh my goodness, all my dogs are just barking. Daisy, no. Okay, so this seems to be fairly easy. I think the only problem is that um, the tip is a tiny bit difficult to work with. So I will try out a few different tips. Let me just clean off my little thingy bajig fountain pen. <laughs> forgot the name and I do want to try out some of the different tips because this seems really interesting this one looks very like imperial and fancy and I want to try this one out so we're going to take off the classic tip oh goodness why is this so hard to take off oh gosh I know that this is meant to take off okay so there we go there's this one I'm just going to clean off the little bits oh is it rusty oh no why is it rusty why is it rusty? Oh no. That's not good. So we'll just not touch this one because this one seems to be a bit rusty right here. I think I might have left it in too long. Um, Because I did have this out for a few days. I was like trying it out before this. Okay, so let's try out this one. We'll take it out after using it this time. So let's put in the tip very nice and we're going to use i would say um let's try out the gold because the gold looks very nice so i'm gonna open up the gold why is it so shut so tight okay this is going not as i so oh oh that's nice that's very nice so in the imperial tip we're using in a very very rich looking color <laughs> oh no is it like too thick okay there we go let's try this out oh, oh my gosh yep i'm gonna need more ink <laughs> oh my goodness okay so let's try this again oh whoa i feel like this tip you can get like a wider variety of shape this is a very, this is like the best tip, I think. I think you just need like a very large amount of ink on this one. Ignore my doggos barking. And so, yeah, this one you can get a very wide variety of tip sizes, as you can see on this one. And I actually want to just try writing my name real quick. Hey, that worked. Okay, so yeah, let's clean this off and let's try some of the different tips. Okay, right now we're going to be trying this. Um, it looks like it says C3 tip on it. So we're going to be trying this tip. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. I'm quite, huh. Yeah, that looks kind of strained if you ask me. So let's try this out. Huh. I think I'm using... Oh. Oh, I see. So kind of this one divides into three parts. Like the first one and the second one divided into two parts. This end divides into three parts. Well, this the camera doesn't want to focus. Um, but basically this tip divides into, I think, three parts. But nothing really special about it, I don't think. I don't, I don't think there's anything very special about it um then again this is coming from a person who never ever does calligraphy like on like a day-to-day -day basis so i don't really I'm not very good at this um but yeah let's try out the next tip which is c1 and i also am quite skeptical about this one Honestly, I think that's my favorite tip. <laughs> like, for no absolute reason, I just think that's my favorite tip. It kind of spreads out the color more. And I kind of like that. Oh, yeah, that's a good color. 
So I think that the only difference with mine are that, like the tips that I have, are that they each do like a wider kind of thing to, and like a smaller kind of tip, but that's pretty much it. I don't see anything else about this tip that is really that special. But yeah, let's move on to trying the watercolor pencils out because I'm desperate to know how these things work. <laughs> Okay, so the watercolor pencils I will be testing out, I've used before, the brand name is covered up, but, uh, <laughs> for, uh, certain reasons, as you can see, but I will display the brand, um, so this one, I think, is the Caran d'Ache watercolors, but we are also going to be trying out the luminance, um, these are actually my brothers, <laughs> um, but, yeah, so these ones are also Caran d'Ache, but these ones are the watercolor pencils. So we will be using the watercolor pencils and the other ones. So yeah, let's just, let's just test out and see how these work. I want to have used these in videos before, but I've never used them as watercolors. All right, so these are the ones that I'm going to be using. There is a whole nother selection on the bottom. We've got all the other like fiery colors and the browns and all that. We've got all the other colors in the second palette, but I am missing one because my brother uses these a lot. Oh no, the camera, stop shaking. Anyways, so I will be trying out a purple because why not? So I think I know how to use these, but I'm not very sure. So I'm assuming all you have to do is just color in a spot with it. Okay, so we'll try out some different like pressures. So this will be maximum pe pressure right here, minimum, um, like just the normal amount of pressure. And this is like little to no amount of pressure. No, this is little to no. But this is like second to little to no amount of pressure. So yeah, let's try out. I think all we have to do now is that we have to try out like a wet paintbrush on it. So I'm going to dip this paintbrush in water and let's see. And wow. Oh goodness, that is actually really cool. So I didn't know that's how watercolor pencils worked, but everyone else is gonna be like, yeah, that's that's how it works. Um but yeah. So these ones seem to work pretty well. But yeah. I don't think I would be able to do a full on painting with these because I am way too impatient to like do the whole drawing, then go over it again with water. But yeah, I think I'm too impatient. <laughs> So let's try this again, and again. I don't see really any difference in the pressure. Um, but yeah, so there's our watercolor pencils. Now let's try out the actual other pencils. The, you know, the other Caran d'Ache pencils. So yeah, let's move on. These are the watercolor pencils. I will be doing a drawing at the very end of every single medium that I've used in this video. I'll be doing a drawing with all of them, so we'll see how that turns out. But right now, let's move on to trying out the other Caran d'Ache pencils. Alright, so let's try out the Caran d'Ache pencils. And yeah, so then again... Um, oh my goodness, the camera's shaking! Um, so anyways, this is the box again, and this is the Luminance brand. And yep, these this is the top row, and then if you pick up this little tab right here, there is a whole bottom row. And then and again, my brother has used these before because these belong to him. So I just want to try these out a bit. And we are going to be starting with purple again because I absolutely love the color purple. So let's see the different pressures real quick. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, so. This is maximum. Oh my goodness, that's weird. What the heck? So this is maximum pressure. Well, not even maximum. This is like normal pressure. Look how beautiful that color is. Whoa. Okay, and that's like solid. It looks like it was like printed. That's weird. Um, now let's try like less pressure. Man, it still looks printed. These are cool. And now let's try little pressure and little to no pressure. Yeah, I think that this is a really good medium. This might be my favorite one so far, even though it's like the least interesting because all you're doing is coloring. But 
I think that the maximum pressure is also the coolest too. Um, this is really cool. I like how if you do like certain amounts of pressure, you can get different results. Um, and I also like how they look on paper because if I, I would use like my Prismacolors and like go intensely hard, it wouldn't make like a fully good picture. It would just make like I would just break a couple of Prismacolors. Like I could go really hard in my Prismacolors, but that would just ruin them really fast. This this is not running out fast at all. <laughs> So yeah, I think that this might be my favorite color pencil and like my go-to from now on. Um, but yeah, so let's continue on. All right, here we go. We're going to do this drawing. I hate it so much. Alright, and this is the drawing. It is one of my characters, Orion Star, and I don't like the drawing very much. I don't like how the feet turned out. Um, I like the shape of the feet, I just don't like the colors. Um, I like how the left arm turned out a lot. I think that the left arm is really cool. Um, I don't like how the right arm, arm turned out. Um, the face turned out very well. I like how the hair is golden. Um, but yeah, um... I liked her outfit choice quite a bit. I just think that the color palette could use some redoing, but thank you for watching, guys, and tune in next time for more. Bye!